All right. Thank you so much. This is very exciting to be here. I am really looking forward to to talking with you all about this. This is about how to get to a first cut. Right? So that there is so much involved in that. Not so much technical, right? A lot of what I'm going to be talking about really is about the thought process. How to think to get to your first cut. So my first rule of thumb, thought comes first, then comes the technical. Right? Larry mentioned two real guys, and what we do on there is we talk about storytelling. So the key to what we're going to talk about for the next 55 or 60 or unless Larry comes to my rescue about 150 minutes what we're going to talk about for the next hour or so is really about how to internalize story and then translate that into your first cut along the way we're going to talk a little bit of politics of the editing room and a little bit about organization and technical stuff I'm not a super tech guy as Larry will tell you so that a lot of what, uh, uh, w when we get into tech stuff, the top of my head explodes, so I won't get too much into that. Really, this is just about story. So d what do I mean by story? Well, the first thing that I do, and this is sort of obvious, is you should know your script. You should read it as many times as you can. And I like to read a script several times before I even go out on a job interview because I want to know the script as well as my director and producer do. That's just so, it makes it so much easier, A, to get the job, which I kind of like, my landlord likes it, um, uh, but that I also like it because it helps me to understand the baseline. You know, it's also uh, important even if you don't have a script, right? So what do I mean by that? Docs obviously don't start with a scripted narrative. Today we're going to be looking at a scene from scripted narrative. I'm going to use that as an example. But trust me, what we're talking about here will apply to docs, it will apply to interviews, it will apply pretty much to every time you want to tell a story visually. And that's pretty much any time you turn on your camera or turn on your NLE. From the scripted side of things, I'm going to want you to read the script as many times as you can, especially if you didn't write it. Obviously, if you've written the script and you're editing it, you think you know your scenes pretty well. Actually, that's not true, but that we'll talk about how to shape that as well. So I like to read my script uh, before I get the job, after I get the job, and then as the shooting occurs and I start to get my dailies every day, I'm going to read the scenes, the scripted scenes, before I start cutting them. So I want to read the scene before I start editing it to kind of refresh my mind about what's important in the scene. Now there are some editors who will say, read the script and then throw it away. Now, now what do they mean by this? I, don't, I know that they're not saying forget story. What they're really saying, I believe, is you internalize your script well enough so when you get the dailies, you can respond just to what's there, as opposed to some preconceived notion that the script or you might have had. And I think that that's important to take the story and put it inside of you, inside your head, inside your heart, so you know how to shape your scene, you know how to edit it you bring it into consciousness and subconsciousness. I like to read the script in order to do that. Your mileage may vary. So how do you analyze the script? What are the important things? I like to start by understanding what my entire movie is about before I even start talking about the scene. Uh, so I like to do a log line for that. That's a two or a three sentence description, not of the plot. So it's not that uh, Michael Corleone in The Godfather walks into a restaurant and ends up shooting his uh, enemy, right? That's not what I mean by the logline. By the logline, I'm talking about what's the arc of the project?